Hey everybody, we're back with Once Upon a Tabletop. We're uh, we're playing Battlestar Galactica, and if you're just joining us, um, we uh, we get together with some friends and we hang out and play some sort of tabletop board game and role play the action at the table. And that's what we're doing here with Battlestar Galactica, the board game. I'm Bobby. We've got Ozcor, uh, Margaret Crone, Cliff, and Cassie all with us tonight. And uh, I know that I am not the only one here that is uh, that is trying to survive illness. Maggie is as well, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, I have the plague. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my my voice isn't normally quite this raspy. It, it helps me do uh, do Colonel Ty's voice, I think, though. So it's a. Uh, it's I a, think so. Basically You're doing a great job. Out of my nose at all. <laughs> at one point today, I was like, "Oh my god, I feel like I've haven't worked out in like 20 years," and I just ran up like a staircase. It was like <gasps> I was like dying. <laughs> I couldn't just breathe like a normal person. Yeah. I, also, I, yeah, yeah. I thought to myself. How am I supposed to eat? Because you basically have to like hold your breath to eat. Yeah, that's a really good Ugh. point. How do you drink f fluids? I, I guess I'm holding my breath. I thought about it too much and not even <laughs> so. <laughs> Panicked a little bit. And uh, <laughs> yeah, this morning I, I had to take my, I woke up this morning feeling all right. I was like, oh, I'm feeling all right. And then I, by the time I got the kids in the car to take my daughter to school, I was completely worn out and out of breath and wasted and I was like oh my god I'm not gonna make it but uh, all right but we are here now we're toughing through it for you guys and um it looks to me like let's switch over to here it looks to me like um like we're ready to go it was my turn right that's mm -hmm. uh Saul tie is supposed to be going here I've got um we've got nothing out there to be dealing with right now just ourselves just us um so i mean what could i be doing let's see why is my oh there that's why um i'm trying to think of actions you know that uh i, f I feel like a, a really uncomfortable sense of calm here um look at the back of two civilian ships i guess i could do that we don't have civilian ships out oh you're right <laughs> Um, really, it's it's just store up on stuff. Yeah, maybe, or or I could go uh, launch yeah, myself in a Viper and take a joyride. You actually cannot. You need a piloting skill to do that. Oh God, I'm stuck. Yeah. I'm going to the admiral's quarters. No. <laughs> um, just go to the brig, hang out. Yeah, the uh, I guess I'll just um, stay here in command. That's where Saltai belongs, and um, I will. Uh, Draw some cards and not do anything. Well, um, yes, yeah, so you drew your set, right? And then uh, I guess I was supposed to do that first, action. huh? Yeah. yeah, and you might have some actions in your on your cards. Or go um, to the research lab, get us some tactics. Yeah, oh, oh, he, he, I think he draws some tactics. So yeah, so um, some useful cards in your set uh, that might interest you. Uh, executive orders, where you can give someone um, a move and an action or two actions. So if you don't have anything useful, you can give someone else that um or you can do launch scout where you get to look at the top card of the crisis or destination deck so um, that might be a, a way to use your actions and what are these uh engineering or tactics skill card? oh i just get to draw one for myself right right um sure i think i will i think i'll do that i'll head over to the uh to the research lab uh, I'm just gonna take a walk around the Galactica, and uh... Oh! Boomer! Fancy meeting you here! And um, I will draw a... It's like, where am I again? Oh yeah, research lab. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll draw a... Guys, uh, Baltar is there. Guys, Baltar is there, and he's running his uh, new patented uh, Cylon uh, tests. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. I'm glad I didn't play Baltar. <laughs> I wouldn't have done his. I wouldn't have done him justice. <laughs> All right, that's it. All right, draw your crisis. All right. Ding, 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 ding. It is Cylon virus. I'm a. Uh, I'm just looking at uh, the. You know, I was talking to. The, I was speaking with the admiral recently, and he said that I should. Uh, uh, I should probably make an effort to get in touch with the rest of the ship and 
and find out what other people do. Getting staying in command for so long can get your head all fogged up. So uh figured I'd come on over. I don't know here. your hands are kinda of shaking. Maybe this is a place for you. Yeah, well I uh I'm also trying to trying to take it easy on the drink, you know. By holding one, sir? Um oh how did that get here? <laughs> I've I've got to be going. There's a Cylon virus. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> that's the that's the crisis. It's the virus, sir. I think it spawned copies of itself in some of our computer systems. It's knocked oh, out main shit. power and auxiliary units. Oh man, this is a rough one. Yeah, it's only thirteen blue and... only purple. Blue purple or blue? Yeah, this is the oh, one that purple. I put in the bottom of the deck. Purple Last or time. blue. Okay. Um, I didn't see the blue down there. Oh, wait. Um, so you're, you're saying that this should have been at the bottom, not at the top? No, I mean, I put one like this at the bottom of the deck. Oh, okay. All right. So it, I'm sure there's multiples. If we pass, oh, no, no effect. Who's the best? He just brought there me multiple issues. Mo there aren't multiples, so maybe it just didn't go in the right spot. It's possible. So this is, this is the card that you drew? What? This is is the, this is the card that was supposed to be at the bottom. No, I said yeah, I drew no one team. similar to okay, that, okay, okay. and I put it at the bottom okay. of the deck. Yeah. All right, all characters. So if we fail, all characters in the FTL control location are sent to sick bay, and then place one centurion marker at the start of the boarding party track. Oh my gosh. Okay, well luckily there's nobody in FTL control, but yeah, we would have a centurion on board. All right, so guys, let's get to it. We need thirteen purple or blue. Do you think that we should? All right. Well, here I'll put two cards in the desk from the Destiny deck here. But um, do we? We could, if we wanted to, decide to not deal with the Centurion when they board and not use all of our resources. Because doing a 13 purple blue, something that I can't even contribute to. Oh, surprise there. I'm a politician, not a, I don't manage virus systems. I don't, I yeah, just, that's what a silent would say. I'm not going to, I'm not going to apologize for my skill set. <laughs> um, how do we kill a, a centurion? Uh, you go to armory. Attack a Centurion on the boarding party track. They're destroyed on a roll of seven through eight. There are, um, I think there are purple cards that allow you to um, add two to a die roll. Hell so yeah, there are. That will, called that'll make strategic it a 50... planning. Not yes. that I, not that so that'll I have make one. It... Wink. <laughs> so that'll make it like a 50-50 <laughs> shot, which will make it easy. And right now we don't have anything on the map. Okay. So... Is there anybody here who happens to be, like have special powers to make it so that they can kill Centurions easier? Um, the purple cards I currently have do not. Okay. And I but can say that I'm I I'm sure will there not, are purple cards in there. I will not be able to contribute anything to this test. And I, I will be able to, con I, I could contribute, but not a whole lot. I mean, maybe close to half. I don't know. I can contribute purple and blue cards. Yeah, I mean, I can too. I just don't know but how. Thirteen. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Are we going to be able to do it high enough? And is someone else going to screw us over? Um, I say we kick some Cylons in the gonads. Do they this have gonads? No, they it's don't. So this is clearly a really distraction. <laughs> what are they really planning? All right. Well, uh, let's uh, start the check at least, because people we've we've voiced yep. our opinion. Um, Roslyn, starting with you. I'm all right. I am not contributing. Nope. Wait, is just no one contributing? Well, three of fucking three bunch of, of Cylons. Yeah, three of the five of us haven't contributed. I'm so we need to, right? Able like, to assist in this matter. I trust that you'll do the right thing. Um. You'll trust that I'll do the right thing. All right. What is it? Is it purple and purple? Right. Here. Purple and blue. I, if if you want to try, boomer, then, right. then we can try well, I mean, for this. We either try or we or we fail, right? Like. Yeah. If we fail, yeah, if we... all we'll, uh, what we'll have to do is kill that centurion that boards. Yeah. 
Oh, and we shit. don't have anything right now just Did you already do really, the Destiny so. card, too? Yes. Alright. Um, should I put extra cards in, just in case? If you want to use your resources like that, you can. I advise against uh, it. You advise against it. All right. I will your just president put... advises you not to, to to worry about. This is clearly a distraction. The president the wants us to let the centurion to... on and entrust us to beat the centurion in the face. That's what he's saying. Okay, so you want me to keep all my cards and just be like, I think that come would be us, nice. bro. Okay. I'm kind well. of siding. I'm kind of leaning that way too. So let's do I mean, let's let's do that, Boomer. Sure, uh, you and me, whatever. we got this. <laughs> we can, we can <laughs> Wait, punch me. are we doing it or are we not? No, I mean we're just gonna punch the centurion. Oh, okay, sure. I'll punch this. Listen, centurion. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I did just see you drunk. <laughs> All right, and I will do that as well. So centurion boards, because we uh we failed. Although, if you do it on purpose, is that really a failure? Don't we just pass? <laughs> we purposefully failed. All right, so Centurion is now on the boarding party track. Um, raiders get launched from a base star, but there are no base stars, so we're done. All right. Uh, next turn is Starbuck. On my set. Mm -hmm. boom, 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 boom. That's weird. Um. That's weird. It drew <laughs> drew me two purple and two or three purple and one red. No. Hmm. You can always draw your cards manually, I guess, if that keeps messing you up. What are you, su what are you supposed to get? Two purple, two red, and then to pick one green or one blue. Huh. Okay, so Starbuck... Um, Realizing that Cylons have boarded the vessel, moves to the armory. That's ah oh, shit. Time to take care of some fracking business. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot at some Cylon raiders. All right, I will strategically sure. plan <laughs> and uh, play my strategic planning card for you. You get to add two to the result. Roll the six plus two is eight. The Cylon Centurion is destroyed. Thank you, Damn. Saltai, for uh, agreeing with the order to let me pick up the biggest gun in the armory and blow the dreck out of these goddamn fracking toasters. What's the worst that could have happened? Either you kill the Centurion or you kill yourself. Back and right. Let's go get a drink. <sighs> Good job, Thrace. <laughs> All right. We succeeded. So, getting along with my superior officers. This is this is not good. Look. Just let it last. All right. I'm only here because I want I need a drink as well. <laughs> good work. All right. Is uh is that it? Uh, no, uh, Starbuck needs a crisis. Oh, new crisis. Oh, yeah, we just dealt with my crisis. <laughs> Before I draw the crisis card, Starbuck will, uh, uh, sort of say over comms to, uh, uh, over sort of FaceTime to, uh, <laughs> FaceTime to, to, <laughs> to President Rosalind after receiving the commendations that, well, you can always count on us to clean up, clean up after your messes, President. She grimaces and yes. and says, I believe you're misdirecting your anger towards the Cylons and the messes that they create. I thank you for your service. 
she clicks your she clicks the comms off. All right. In the meantime, I guess the Cylons have a plan for Caprica. She thinks she turned off the. <laughs> killed everyone. I think our first order of business has to be planning rescue missions back to Caprica. All right, President. Uh, come on here. We need to either um, spend fuel and food. Give me your line. Give me your population. line. Give me your line. All right. Uh, but, President, I. If you really want to do something to help, you'll you'll send this rescue mission back to get our people. I know it'll use up valuable fuel and food, but we'll rescue a whole bunch of people that would have otherwise be killed by these goddamn fracking toasters. You will all die. Uh, Who said that? Uh, <laughs> it was a Cylon! <laughs> I, no! Okay. I, I, I shot it with the extra grenade launcher and everything, so it, it shouldn't be... Uh, I don't know who said that. Was that so you, you President Rosalind? So you want us... Let me understand this correctly. You want us to survey... Go back to Caprica, send a team, and rescue whoever may be there. We have no idea if they've been turned. If only nukes the major population centers. There, there have to be people surviving in the fringes we can recover. It might have valuable, valuable intelligence for us as well. It's worth the risk. The problem is we're we're low on fuel reserves as it is, and we need to get to Kobol. I'm sorry, but. I have to, I understand that your heart is in the right place and there may be survivors, but we have to keep, we have to continue moving forward to Kobol. And I'm going to dunk our morale by one. Yep. So, uh, Starbuck heads to the bars and gets extra drunk, punches somebody. She doesn't care who. It's just a random person that happens to be in the bar. Just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, raiders activate, but there aren't any. There's no. Uh, so. And then we move the jump preparation track by one. Pink. All right. Adama. Hi. So I will. Let's see. Move back to commands where I belong. <laughs> oh, I will also draw. I always forget my cards. Attention, everyone! Admiral on deck. <laughs> All right, I will. Man, I don't really. What do we got to actually do here? We have no Cylon threats. We're just kind of chilling. We're cruising. Yeah. Store, store up. Um. I, <laughs> I would say you could give me an executive order so I can do more presidenty stuff, but um that would require you to actually care about me uh, <laughs> yeah. i'm glad you've uh, established that uh, it's good mm. but um let me see what else you could give executive orders to either sharon or saul so they can draw twice at the research lab um you could that's assuming you have an executive order um All you right. could do a scout mission yeah, yeah i'll do the executive order saul go tell boomer to do her job Boomer, or uh, what's Boomer's real name? Sharon, Sharon. Valeri. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Admiral says uh, you yes, need sir. to do some uh, some research here in the research lab. That's what I'm freaking doing. Yeah, well, keep at it. <laughs> <laughs> research order. That's an order. All right. <laughs> so. So just so um, you know, Boomer, you don't have to follow that directive. You can take your move and do and and take your action somewhere else if you so wish, or you can go ahead and take two actions here at Research Lab. Mm, okay, well, I think you draw two cards. Two cards? Yeah, because yeah, if you take this action twice, you can draw one engineering, one tactics, or two engineering or two tactics. You can keep up to oh. ten, so you've got room to do it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll take two cards. Oh. Why don't... Let me hold on to both of you. Okay, there you go. <laughs> well, well, well. Sweet.
I continue researching as I was. You know, I've never been much of a man of science, but uh, there's some pretty neat things going on in here. Yeah, like what? I don't know. I'm just, just making small talk. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> She just continues doing her research. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that ends Adama's turn. Uh, crisis. All right. Boop. Ooh, I've planned a nuclear warhead aboard one of the ships. Uh-oh. I don't know why I just write that really feminine. Uh, <laughs> curve player <laughs> uses no effect. Uh, negative one morale and draw a civilian ship and destroy it. Or roll a die on a four or lower trigger. A fail and affect this card. Okay, so we oh, need geez. a 13 and we need the Mardi Gras colors. All right. Um, wow, this is a tough one. A bomb threat. We need to take this my, very seriously. It's not my nukes. I got them over here still. Good luck. Have fun. <gasps> There's that mysterious Cylon again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, current player, you choose. Do you want to? S oh, I thought we had to do. No, you get to. You e then, we uh, either try to do it by contributing gotcha. or you take a chance and 50-50 chance roll a die. Oh, all right. Hold on. Let me see this. We've been Strategic planning right. can be played on, on Yeah, on that's this. exactly what I'm doing. So number card. two, Saul, get it here. We've got to strategically plan. Uh, I'm, gonna roll. I'm all out of plans. <laughs> <laughs> I've, all, I've got plans to sit out at the damn table. All right. <laughs> hey, you got a six. Excellent, which means we succeeded. Oh, yeah. Bomb threat. Bomb threat uh, is, what's the word I'm looking for? Diffused. Neutralized. Diffused. Neutralized. Neutralized. Uh, Thank you. All right. I'll get you next time. <laughs> next time. <laughs> Roslyn, if you're going to hide the Euro Cylon, calm down. <laughs> All right. Uh, Raiders activated, but there aren't any. And then jump preparation track moves forward one. My go. I'm gonna draw my set. We're back in. Uh, we're back in space. Let's see. Um, I'm going to spend two actions, or spend. Sorry, it's not spend two actions. Spend two cards to. Let's see. I'm throwing away those two cards there so that I can activate administration and draw a quorum card. And I can play it if I want. Okay, and I won't. Um, so I'm going to draw another one. Okay. Uh, that is the end of my turn. So, crisis. Here we go. Oh, wait, and I get to... Oh, wait, hold on. Nobody saw that, right? Nope. I'll shuffle this. Or no, no, nobody saw it? Okay, because I'm going to I'm gonna tap into my religious visions now. <laughs> you and your visions. All right, let me see. I get to pick one. Uh Okay. I'm going to put this one on the bottom. And then we're going to play this one. Crash landing. Huh. Got to put down, got to put down. Get this thing on the ground, crash down. Everybody get your masks on. Are we listening uh, to a hip hop song? 
It was very rhythmic, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> six. It's a six purple red. Pass is no effect. Fail is the admiral may spend one fuel. If he does not, minus one morale, and the current player, which is Roslyn, gets sent to sick bay. Oh, she's Everybody good. get your mask on. Hail. <laughs> For some reason, Rosalind was on a uh, was on a <laughs> was on this. Why are you on a viper? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm checking out new lands. When I know <laughs> I'm scouting ahead. Her visions told her to do it. Yeah. She sleep flu. What's, what's our fuel at? We have, oh, we're not can't really All right, fuel. So, Adama, you're first. Yeah, you yeah, I am. Purple and red. Six isn't hard. Um, hold on, actually, here, so that we I don't can, overshoot. I can tell you that I have a... Uh, sorry, go ahead. I'm going to play an investigative up. committee. Yeah, investigative oh. committee to play him face up. I've got an investigative committee looking for, for oh, Rosalind. God. She's her calling whereabouts. another investigative committee. It's the bureaucracy. <laughs> it's always slowing things down. That could it be a minus four to the overall thing, then? Does it just have the effect... What? Huh? Just a minus one, so technically it's only two points we have towards it. So we re we only need like four more points. Yep. I see. Okay, got it. Just wondering if the points value Again, of the if you just yellow stop card that was played. so much, you might be able to do math. <laughs> I don't need to do math. I, I can fly just fine without math. Can you calculate I launch get trajectories? To do part. <laughs> Whose turn is it next? You're doing them all face up again. Frack your launch tra tra trajectories. Oh, we're, we're supposed, supposed to, we were supposed to do it face up that time. Yeah, that was actually part of the thing. <laughs> um, so okay. we're was, at six. Yeah, we're at six. So nobody has to contribute more unless somebody wants to play something face up that they that they shouldn't. Yeah. Go for it, Rosalind. Adama, <laughs> silence. Well, Boomer has the. I should. I should the, just for funsies. I already contributed. Yeah. Saul. Oh, uh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I will not contribute either. All right. So pass, no effect. Roslyn is saved. I thank my investigative committee. <laughs> it's a good That's the only reason why you've survived is that. Yeah. Is that committee? Yeah, I, is that committee. I, I'm a politician. I have friends in high places. Right. All right. The eye patch is coming off. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm going to sweat my eyeball out. <laughs> that could be entertaining. <laughs> Uh, it'll that that'll be for the series finale of Once Upon a Tabletop. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when eyeballs get sweated out. Yeah. But um, Fair. but Rosalind's Rosalind's uh, yes, uh, Rosalind's <clears throat> as as she is rescued and uh, is boarded back onto Galactica, she um, she sees she has she has visions of of Kobol of an arrow uh that needs to be retrieved back on Caprica and now she wishes she hadn't told Starbuck not to go back. Yeah well she keeps that to herself though like she keeps her cancer to herself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not really keeping it to yourself. You keep saying it like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm trying to be dramatic. <laughs> you guys, the characters don't know. It's just meta knowledge. All right. Go ahead, Margie. All right. I'm going. Um, I don't, there's not really. Characters don't know. <clears throat> um. Interesting. <laughs> I 
Okay. Um. <laughs> Hold on a second. I, I need to do some calculating of some sort. Never mind. I think. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. Um. I guess I'll just get another. Is it tactics or research? Is that what you can choose? I'm sorry, what's your question? Yeah. I'll get a tactic tactics card. Or engineering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just I'll just continue doing research. I'll chill. Chill more grill. I can only have ten cards, you said. Uh yeah. So you have to discard down. Okay. Gaius Baltar um, looks at, at Boomer and says, It's it's very good to have an, an assistant. Yes, very much so. Um Does he have an interest in, in, in science? <clears throat> yeah, something like that. Don't let me stop you. Just Mostly to repair my ship. <laughs> Not so much the science part. Uh, and I guess I take a crazy. See how that goes. Speaking of. <sighs> so. We just have to pass this then? Yes. Where? So there have been a string of security incidents aboard ship, sir. The water tank explosion, the discovery of explosives aboard a raptor, and now this. Yeah, I guess we're I guess we're like skipping ahead a few episodes. This has happened. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the uh the pass is no effect. The fail is minus one morale, and all characters in command are sent to sick bay. That would be Adama. Shit. <laughs> Okay, so do you just that's, hit layout that's, that's if we fail, Adama. Don't don't oh, jump the right. gun. <laughs> He's jump like, in. well, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, well, this is green. Yeah, the tactics and leadership. I got this. I can do right. this. Hit start check. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Someone do it. I uh, know you. You should do it because okay, it, it makes you the last player. I think. Yeah. So I'm in first. In progress. All right. Uh, I'll do whatever I can to make sure that uh, the Admiral stays um, healthy. Uh, let's see. I uh, will uh, contribute um, two cards. And I did a pretty good job there, I think. So, um, But I still need a little bit of help. Madam Presidente. Oh, it's me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I can. I can. I of course am going to contribute. Um, I can add some. Yes. I can contribute quite a bit. Uh, I think. I think we can take it from here. The XO and myself. If anybody. <laughs> I contributed one card. It's contributed. That's quite card. a bit to you. One card I, is quite a bit. I did contribute. I can <laughs> contribute quite a bit. Puts down one card. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. President uh, Cylon. Pres <laughs> uh, Madam President, <laughs> trust you with this. All right. Yeah. All right. Hmm. I can contribute some. Good. I don't know if I trust anybody anymore. <laughs> Nothing bad has really happened, so what do you... That's what makes this so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Flippity plop. Oh. Uh-oh, somebody oh. contributed. Oh, destiny cards, too. You can uh, remember. No, 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 but okay, but there, the the check was supposed to be red purple. I mean, green purple. Mm -hmm. green. Uh -oh. And then there's two yeah, reds too and two blues. It's too many. Sorry, we what's our sure total here? Yeah, there's negative six. There's positive nine. 
Wait. So we pass. No, no, no. It's right? positive so. 11. Five, six. 11 minus 6, 5. So, we all right, hold on. Oh, nope. okay. I'm going to declare an emergency. Ah! How do you declare an emergency? What does that do? Uh, alt. It's this green card here. So after strength is totaled in a skill check, we reduce its difficulty by two. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, so we passed then. We passed. Yay. Okay, yes, I would like yes. to note, yes, I did only contribute one card, and yet two negatives showed up. I agree. I that are Boomer unaccounted is our for. Cylon. Boomer. Yeah, Who and... Else what? You shouldn't be trusted. And Not you. Who else contributed? <laughs> I contributed, <laughs> I contributed, I contributed one card. Yells about hey. Boomer <laughs> staring at Starbuck. Starbuck. Yeah, who contributed two cards? Starbuck did. It's Starbuck. And then I, I get to look at this one card. card. I get to look at this. Hold on. Uh, I don't know why I keep yelling at Boomer. <laughs> also, those were red and blue cards. I don't draw either of those. No, it definitely wasn't you. Yeah. Anyway, I think it was Starbuck. I think it was. And then I'm going to put this at the bottom. Oh, oh, shit. I don't know how to put it at the bottom. <laughs> uh, you just leave it there, and then we'll... Um, I'll I know, I have to pick up the whole deck, but there's someone else doing stuff. Okay. I got it. There you go. <clears throat> Listen, Admiral. I don't know if I trust our pilots. The Valerian, <laughs> Thrace. They're, uh, they've are they been acting pretty strangely lately. They've been in close contact with Cylons. So we should be careful. Thrace is... Val Valeria's been spending a lot of time in the research lab. I know I have, too, but... It's because I've been trying to keep my eye on her. <laughs> right. <laughs> she's uh she's been she's been looking into some strange things over God, there. I, you I, creeper. I, I can't say uh that I understand what it is she's looking at, but you know so well, it's definitely an engineer and a pilot who betrayed us. Right. Keep an eye on them. Alright. Don't tell anybody we had this conversation. <laughs> right. It's character knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Right, whose turn is it? <laughs> whose turn Next. was it? It was uh, my turn. No, it's your turn. Uh, yeah. It's tides. Oh, it's, it's my tide. turn. Okay. Uh, well, Valeri, you've been spending a lot of time in this research lab. Yeah, I have. Uh, so have you. Well, nice of you to notice. <laughs> <laughs> How can I not notice? You've literally been standing over my shoulder, breathing on me. Are you a Cylon? <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna draw two engineering cards. <laughs> or no, one, 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 one. Yeah, I can do Wait, one I was like, or two. the other, right? Yeah, one engineering card. Not the whole deck, just one. All right. And, oh, I didn't draw my things. There's those. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. Oh, I need to. You don't have to discard yet. Oh, I don't? Um, it's at the end, end of your turn. So you can play, you can contribute to the crisis okay, with the good, cards good. that you drew. Good, good. All right. Here we go. Informing the public. I also strongly recommend alerting the public to the Cylon threat. There is clearly a Cylon aboard. Yeah. The ship. Uh, yeah. Roslyn. Roslyn looks at Hadrian and and or rather at uh, yeah at Hadrian, and uh, and says, "Let me uh, let me get in touch with our XO. I need your uh, Saul. Yeah. I need you to make a decision." That's what I do. It says current player chooses. <laughs> All right. So I can either uh, choose to do this, and if we pass, I will get to look at a random loyalty card belonging to any player. Hmm. Ooh, that's tempting. Um, but that means some people are going to be fighting hard against this one. Um, and if we fail, we lose two morale. We got morale to lose. Let's do it. Let's do this, guys. Um, who's with me? <laughs> Me, sir. You. I'm yes. standing right next to you. Why are you yelling that? Because <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> We're going to figure out who these fracking Cylons are that are on board. There's no doubt there's one in here amongst us. 
and I'm gonna find who they are, and I'm gonna rip their robot heads off. Okay. <laughs> Start check. Okay. Well, let's see. Oh, I wish I had an investigative committee. Damn it. All right. This is no time for committees. We need to investigate so that we can find this information. So, All right. Ty doesn't speak logic. <laughs> okay. I'm going to contribute. Um, I'll contribute two cards. Whoever these... The Cylons know we're looking for them, and they're going to be fighting to protect themselves, so we better be ready. Who's next? Oh, Adama. Hi. I'm not sick, thank God. Oh, that was wait. a close one. Uh, let's see. I see you took my advice and mm. washed your hands frequently <laughs> and didn't touch your face. <laughs> All right. That stomach bug was going around. That's all I got. I'll do what I can, but I'm better suited to facing enemies in a fighter, in a viper cockpit rather than try to deal with this sort of thing. How can you tell who's who? I don't know. The... The, uh... Baltar was supposed to be coming up with some kind of fracking test. Where did... Whatever happened to that? <laughs> I guess I just passed because I don't have anything. Right? Yep. I can't Unless you want to contribute negative. <laughs> I can't contribute. You sure you don't want to contribute negative? <laughs> I can't. I have none of those colors. You I mean I can if you No, I don't want you to. Okay, well then. But. Uh, okay. If I did, then you'd definitely like be like, you're silent. All right. That was um, a very good idea. Baltar did develop a test. He should have some data. I'm going to do three cards. Arg. <laughs> All right. Done. Let's lay it out. Lay out. We did we do it? Four, five, six, seven. We did it. Uh, nine, ten, fourteen minus two. Four. Minus four. Yeah. No wait. Minus Everybody two. was okay with this. Yeah, yeah everyone was okay with this. So go ahead and which, which, uh, which character aboard Galactica, which uh, loyalty card would you like? <sighs> Oh man, this is a tough one. Who do you who do you not trust? I don't trust either of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roslyn. Uh, Roslyn looks at uh, looks through the paperwork and says, "I know who I would select to review the data." Who to subject to this Cylon test. I don't often care about your opinion, but <laughs> but today, I'll listen. Why wouldn't you look at hers if you don't care about <laughs> We have greater suspicion on the if you don't trust, here. If you don't trust your own president, I understand. I'm willing to take this test, and you can look at my card if you so wish. No. But I advise that we check our commanders I commander disagree. adama i commander adama go check out boomer I think he's he been in the research lab too long we already suspect one of our pilots oh snap um, throw the shade my way when they're trying to look at your shit we have to make sure that one of you is safe and right now you have the assets to help or hurt this fleet he has oh, nukes. Yeah, Do you really her. want a Cylon to control our nukes? Yes. What happens? Um, uh, what happens when we find out that someone's a Cylon? What What does that do for so, us? So, um, so you're gonna look. It's you look at the card secretly. So you're okay. gonna draw it from their hands. You get to see it, and you give it back to them. Okay, or rather, they can draw it back. Um, mm -hmm. but you can say whatever you want. Right, because and I could be a Cylon, and then I could find Correct. the other Cylon, and then that would be helpful to me too. Correct. Um, but what if 
what if I find out who the Cylon is? Is there is there anything we can do to Cylon? Like like hypothetically, we can uh, put him in the brig. Put them in the brig. Yeah. Oh, okay. We can we can try to lock him up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Or there's this execute button I really want to click, but uh, this me. Um, although that said, I know that um, I know that we were also suspecting that Starbuck might have been a yeah I know. Oh, it's definitely one of our pilots. Uh, but right now, Boomer has all the cards, literally. <laughs> That's why I'm leaning that way. What? I couldn't put any. You literally <laughs> if, have all. If I put any of my cards in the last two things, we would go negative. Yeah, yeah. That's why we so... just gotta make sure you're loyal, and then we can just. No, I it's so the evidence. Okay, in the future, I will put cards in when it says that I shouldn't <laughs> instead of holding on to that. The evidence, sure. the, yeah, it's true. If she didn't want it to happen, she would have put in, she would have put in a whole bunch of negatives. But uh, yeah, I, I, the evidence uh, during that sabotage recently did point to. It's definitely a pilot. I um, think it. Well, Starbuck was the one that contributed. Yeah. Starbuck would have been in a prime position to sabotage. I think really Starbuck and. Boomer are on equal grounds of suspicion. Just pick one of them, and then we know it's the other. <laughs> All right, I'm picking. I'm picking uh, Starbuck. Really? Yep. Really? We're Wrong. gonna really fracking do this. All right, fine. Listen, Thrace. Second, whatever. Just do get this fracking test. Go see Baltar, and do what he says. Take his test, and if you're not a Cylon, then then we can move on with our lives. Okay, how do I do? do Flips him off and is I over. Right click, draw. The test. I cl I click draw on so his card. Starbuck. Yeah. Okay. Bloop. Bloop. Well, it won't let me flip it over. <laughs> I have to put it back in your hand. I think you might have to flip it over and then I draw it. Is it face mm. up in your hand? Yes. How about I you? think there's like also like a secret area. Um, uh, I don't know. Not on I this think board. if uh, I think if Starbuck passes it to you. Oh, there we go. Right now. All right. All right. Here, I'll give it back to you now. All right. Well, you fracking satisfied? I am. And what did the test say? Turns out, uh, turns out, uh, Starbucks, she's been telling the truth. She's, uh, she's loyal as far as we can tell. If this, uh, Baltar's test is as good as he says it is. Yeah, idiots, run the test on the person who shot down the raider and saved your asses from the Centurions. Look! Real we, smart. We had to know. You used your chance. You feel you like could you could have used defended yourself before. <laughs> All right. Um, I am on. My actions, my actions speak for themselves. All right. So we do we move forward on the track now? Um, that's it. Yes, we do. Boop. Ty goes to his quarters, pours himself a. A tall whiskey sits down on the bed and thinks long and deep about everything that just happened. And then he heads back to the research lab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Rosalind's on Colonial One. She pinches her the bridge of her nose, knowing that we potentially missed an opportunity to find You're back who... again. Who looks over at you as you stand, hover over her again. I furrow my brows at Bo my brow at Boomer and say, "I'm on to you." <laughs> right, and she just keeps doing her thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is now Starbucks turn. Well, sometime uh, late at night, well, uh, Saul Ty's getting his uh, drink on as deep in his cups. Starbucks going to wander in and have a drink and sees him over there and just kind of with that wry grin on her face walk over to his table and sit down. Well, you got your answers. I 
At least now you know. At least now you know you can trust me. And I don't think I don't think Asylum would have fracked things up as bad as you did. I think I can trust you. Yeah. <laughs> What I'm going to say is, just ask yourself, think Admiral Adama has been acting the same? It's had his priorities straight ever since we jumped out of uh, Caprica with barely a fraction of human life left. I don't know. I, I, I keep thinking about these silence that can look like anybody and I wonder if the people that we think are the people they are, are are really the same people or they've been replaced. I certainly don't trust this President Roslyn, politician through and through. She could be a silent or a human. I, I couldn't tell the difference, but the Dama, he had my back. Been taking out the military targets. With great precision. You've seen that. You've backed me up. So just keep an eye out, okay? I, I'm i a fighter pilot. I, I go out and kill things. I, I shouldn't have to worry about this fracking dreck. I know, but at least now we know. That's something. What do you think about Boomer? I've got my eye on her. <laughs> She was out there in the fight, but she's holding a lot of cards and not really being involved in the uh, serious problems. But I don't know. Got a bunch of fracking politics, too. Take a, uh, taking a long draw on my, uh, my drink while I sit and think. I'm going to take a long draw on my cards because they're em my hand is empty currently. <laughs> hmm. There's nothing to shoot down, so... Starbuck having a crisis of identity with nothing to shoot. <laughs> right? Too much time on her hands. She's, she's running around, drinking too much, getting in fights. But let's see here. No, I think I'm gonna go to Colonial One and see what it's like over there. <laughs> I have to spend the card to move there? Yes. There's nothing going on. I'm gonna take a trip. I'm going on vacation. Well, there hasn't Ros been really anything. Yeah. Rosalind looks up from her papers, sees Starbuck board and says, Starbuck. To which I owe this pleasure. Well, I figured I'd try to see what was going on over here. There's been a lot of trouble, but not much of it has been from silent attacks lately. Taking an interest in politics. It seems very unlike you. Well, Welcome change of pace, of course. Don't get excited. It's just a matter of uh, self-preservation and... I'm going to go ahead and uh, draw two politics cards. Yes, please sit in on sit in on the uh, on the press conference that we're about to have in the press room. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I suppose when I get on there, uh, I'm, I'm the hotshot pilot that, that took down the uh, silent attackers recently, so I'm sort of swarmed by people who, who want to find out what's really going on in the Galactica. Yeah, uh, Roslyn uh, steps up to the podium and introduces 
Uh, we owe one of our pilots a the deepest gratitudes for their hard and diligent work. This is Kara Thrace. We commend you for your for your hard work and your honesty. Thank you, President. If only we acted when we had the chance to rescue other people back on Caprica. Maybe we'd have even more people to save to find the Cobol. Thank you, Starbuck. Thank you. No further questions. And she, uh, this this press is this press is done. <laughs> and she like she goes back to the um, goes to the back and says, "That was uncouth." You have a pretty nice bar here. I'm checking out the mini bar. What if I told you that there's, I, I may be regretting my decision. <laughs> I think perhaps there was something to you, to what you were saying though, while I'm not optimistic about survivors, I may require you to retrieve something. And I think this may be the key to getting us to Earth. What? She's taken aback. Takes a takes another uh, sprig of her stiff drink. I'm listening. Not now. But I just want you to know that I am not against you. I am considering what your proposal, now that I've had more time to ruminate. That will be all. Enjoy your 15 minutes of fame. And she uh, leaves you to drink alone <laughs> in the in the press bar. Man, that was harsh. <laughs> <laughs> Rosalind doesn't fucking play, man. <laughs> Guys, listen. Uh, things have been too quiet around here in the galaxy. I think somebody needs to mix it up by allowing us to spin that wheel. So, um, I agree. You know how to do it. I agree. We should add a section. Base star shows up, but then they, they don't get to pick anything. Eh. Anyway, uh, whose turn is it? Isn't it? Is it Starbucks' turn? No, it's crisis time for Starbucks' turn. What did yeah, she do on Starbucks her turn? Starbucks just moved and did the action. Oh, right, now, the press now crisis. That's a lot of crisis. I just one. tried to take one, but I'm just <laughs> my big hand grabbing the whole deck. Over. Mm -hmm. Colonial day. Yay! Survivors from each of the twelve colonies are selecting delegates for the interim quorum. If we pass this, it's plus one morale. If we fail it, it's minus two morale. Or we just take minus one morale. We've got lots of morale. Well, we got seven morale. Yeah. I think yeah. uh, while while uh, Starbuck is still there and uh, President Roslin has, has, has stepped away, people start asking uh, uh, Starbuck what she thinks about Colonial Day and whether we should do a big celebration and some sort of like an air show with the vipers outside and Starbuck is drunk and pissed off. She's like, I don't fracking care. What the frack? Just it's stupid to celebrate the fracking stuff. Just, just, just forget it. We're all going to die out here. He stumbles away. <laughs> so we just lose one morale. <laughs> and all the children all right. watching the television feed cry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're at six morale. Jump preparation track is moving forward. Ba -ba -ba -bum. And Adama, mm -hmm. your turn. How many jumps do we need to do? We need to get to. Um, we need to, right now. We are at two of six. 
to get to okay. Kobol. And then after we get to six or more, we go, then we have to do one final jump and then we win. Yeah, okay, we, cool, we cool. need to pick up the pace. By we, then. I mean, humans. All right. Well, if you want to pick up the pace, someone can go to, or Adama could go to FTL control and jump us, but then we risk a population. Yeah. Yeah, well, we, we got eight. <laughs> We're okay there. Uh, I will give another executive order like, Ty, do your job. Wait, no, how many how many cards you got? How many cards do I have? I have eight cards. Yeah, you can stake two more. All right, yeah, good to your job. Keep an eye on Boomer. <laughs> All right, Boomer. That's the wrong card. <laughs> that one. But I but I could um I could move and take an action, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm gonna do that. Ooh, disobeying commander's orders. Son of a bitch, Ty. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what to think anymore. <laughs> but what I do know is we got to get to fracking Cobalt. So I'm going to go ahead. And <laughs> I'm going to jump us. Oh, snap. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you have a strategic planning to... Because um, it's a... Let me, I'll double check. I think it's a What's five it? through eight. We don't All lose right. population. God damn it, Ty. I'll move it I to your route before you go. <laughs> um, I... He's too drunk. He doesn't know what he's doing. <gasps> it doesn't matter. I'm not going to play a strategic plating. I All did. 5-3. Right. So we we go no matter what, right? This roll just determines whether or not we lose a population? Correct. Yes. All right. Well, I played a strategic so planning, so you got one right. anyway. Oh, okay. All right. So if a 6 or lower is rolled, we lose the population. And now in this case... It, uh, you're gonna add two to that roller. Yeah, one Roll the one. Well played, Ty. <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, all right, so we we lose some civilians in the middle of the jump uh, that didn't get the memo. <laughs> 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 all right, so we lost one population, but we have jumped. Now the uh, admiral gets to draw two cards from the destination deck and pick where we're going next. Mm. Right, right, and don't shuffle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Please. <laughs> Fuck. I'm just telling you, this ain't getting better no matter what we're doing. Uh, Alright, well, we got limited resources, so we not only lost a population, we are now lost in deep space. Oh, oh God. Hey. Alright, we lost one fuel and one morale. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> oh Jesus! And why are we in deep space? Listen, I don't know what happened. God damn it! I just told this <laughs> thing to this FTL engineer to get us going. Why the right. why the frack did you send us to deep space, you moron? <laughs> Maybe if you were drunk. It's a miscalculation, sir, says Felix Gata. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, oh, so we yes. are, so we are at, uh, we're at four of six. So that triggers sleeper agent phase, which means that now everyone oh, is going to draw their next loyalty card. I have to draw two though, right? Correct, because you are boomer. Shit. Oh jeez. Oh god. Right. So I just draw one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone draws one except for me. I draw because probabilities uh, hate me. God damn it! I knew it. She was a Cylon. <laughs> now it's going to be even harder to tell who's a Cylon. Yeah, and there's definitely two now, right? Oh, and you're moved After to the brig location. Me? And I'm moved. No, Boomer. No, me. Oh. She has to draw two loyalty cards, and she's moved to the brig location. <laughs> Great. How do I get out of here? Oh. You know, the interesting Wait. thing is that Starbuck could now be But at least I don't draw any crisis cards. Yeah. I have so to we, pass so the we... skill check. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for colors you don't really have except for you have purple. So you're going to have to get yeah. friends. <laughs> so clearly we suspect that if it's not Starbuck, then it must, then we suspect it has to be Boomer. She was the only other pilot. And there I say are we definitely... put her in the break just to be safe. There are definitely two now, right? As you said, after we do this phase. 
Now there are two. If the Cylon, for some reason, has both Cylon cards, uh, I'm going to point out a an act, uh, a location that's on the Cylon location. So yeah. after they reveal themselves, they can go to the uh. resurrection ship. And as an action, they can reveal, they can give one of their unrevealed loyalty cards to another player. So basically, um, because they're going to have to reveal themselves to become a Cylon, but they only have to flip one of the cards. They're going to keep the one, the other one face down, and then they can hand that card off to someone else and decide oh, who damn, the other Cylon just, is. Like, take someone down with you. <laughs> yeah, you you create another Cylon. You're an ally. Or, like, or you, you pass, yeah. you might not have the other one, and you just pass, um, a, you are not a Cylon card to pass suspicion. But anyway. That's that's looking further into the future. I just wanted oh, to make sure that. Oh, that's really funny. Cylons you just like options. make some make people think that another prison Cylon. Oh shit! What a mm -hmm. what a deceptive game. <laughs> I love dick it. Dick move. That is a dick uh, move. Mm -hmm. uh, um, all right. So that we are now in deep space. We have Boomer in the brig, and it's my turn. Yeah. Okay. It means I can't do anything right until. You mean, yeah, that. you can. You cannot add more than one card to skill checks currently. Does that include this skill check? Yes. What? We have to decide whether we trust you enough to leave, get you out of the brig. So I'm just stuck here forever. For now. That seems. Oh. That seems until you make a compelling weird. enough argument that you. Oh, don't, you reveal you yourself as a Cylon. Can you, can you mm -hmm. get out of the brig and pass uh, pass off someone else? I guess not. That's only if you're free, huh? I would assume you couldn't do that, right? Like yeah. even. If if you're in the brig, you can you can reveal yourself as your action. Say that you are a Cylon. Each Cylon card has an action on it, so you reveal yourself. It's just the action is neutered if you're in the brig, so you don't get as good a an effect. But you will be moved out of the brig after revealing yourself and go How? to the Cylon Where locations. would you move? That doesn't make any to sense. Cylon, to, you get moved out to the Cylon locations. And then oh, you gotcha. Or, okay, that I makes sense. Yeah. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Right. Basically, I'm just letting you, you know. You get killed in the process of revealing yourself and you're resurrected mm -hmm. back in the Cylon fleet. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Right. Doesn't matter anyway. But that doesn't I'm mean that you're there. a Cylon anyway. I'm just stuck there forever. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, draw my set. And Unless I draw a card that has seven, which I doubt there's any. Um, I will, yeah, do I want to do that? Okay. I am going to, <laughs> I'm going to, this is what Rosalind would do. This is where we've, we've been leading up. So I'm going to, uh, instead of playing the president's office. I'm going to play one of the, my quorum cards directly. And it is assign mission specialist. Starbuck. Uh, Rosalind calls Starbuck to the office, to her, uh, to her office on Colonial One and says, reality is there's a good chance that this arrow that's on Caprica can jump all the way back. Um, or sorry, uh, this can, that, that arrow can help us find earth. Hold on a minute, President. I want to know why you ordered that preliminary jump. We lost civilian ships. People. I didn't order that jump. What? Who did then? I don't know. Someone in command? The point is that we need to get to Earth, and we need to get there fast. What do you need me to do? I need you to go back to Caprica, retrieve this arrow and help us find Earth, the real Earth. How does this uh, find okay, it? I'm gonna, let's see, so I'm gonna draw two politics cards and I'm gonna give this card to any player. It's gonna be to Starbuck. And Starbuck, um, the next time that the fleet jumps, you're going to choose the destination instead of Adama or whoever the Admiral is at the time. And you're gonna okay. draw three destination cards instead of two and then you choose the one that you wanna go to. Nice. So here you go. Then I draw two politics cards. So yeah. here's here's the thing about the the brig. I was just reading up on it because it seemed oh. weird to me that you wouldn't be able to. Wrong ones. 
mm-hmm. get yourself out. But um, the trick is that the if there is another Cylon, that person has a an interest in helping you get out. If you are a Cylon, like say, let's say you are a Cylon what and you're, if you're in the not brig. a Cylon and you're in there mm-hmm. and you're just stuck there because everyone the thinks the Cylon you're... might think that you are a Cylon and want to help you. Yeah, because because uh, you can reveal yourself a Cylon, right? But you can't reveal yourself not a Cylon. <laughs> yeah. Correct. So yeah. if so, it, you could convince other people that you aren't a Cylon, or you could reveal yourself a Cylon and hope that the other Cylon will then help you. Um, At this point, I would be able to grant you a significant aid in getting out of the brig. Because I think it's bullshit they threw you in there just because you're a pilot and you're yeah. not the one who was tested. So if you do We do call, all the work, we shoot you, down their fucking back. ships, and this is pay us bullshit. Right? Ridiculous. Yeah. They, they don't know. So I'm coming over from Colonial One. So, so yeah, if you... Um, if you uh, call for an appeal, um, I'll do what I can. I'm, 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 I've got the ear of the president at the moment. I might be able to help out. I'd appreciate Seeing that. The Seeing Starbuck. the president, she's in the middle of having a religious vision, and she will <laughs> pick the next crisis. Um, <laughs> religious mumbo jumbo. I guess she, faith helps some people. Yeah, she put a, she put the "Do Not Disturb" sign on her. Uh, the door of her president's must office. be nice sitting on her little on her little ship with all her amenities it's pretty nice over here they got some pretty good drinks top shelf stuff Shit. do what i can bring back with me when i come back <laughs> smuggle that shit in <laughs> just hang in there we'll we'll get you out of there no you're not a cylon <laughs> Okay. I'm going to... Here we go. All right. So she's she has a religious vision, and she's going to uh, warn commands. I need you to look on your radars. Something's out there. The Adriatic is in weapons range, and she's got ship-to-ship missiles. Tom, that thing is moving fast. If we're going to shoot it down, we'd better shoot it down. Huh. Uh, it's a 10 purple red pass no effect fail minus one population too bad i can't help you you can help just one <laughs> true all right adama you're first we have population to spare no we can't spare the civilians it's not an option president Yeah, what kind of president's like? <laughs> We're we, gonna shoot we it down. We better shoot it down. Despair. What? It's in weapons range. <laughs> There's a Cylon on board. That must be what her religious vision was. I don't like it either. I guess I can only give one. One and done. Hmm. Which I... sucks, because then I'm really not getting out of the... <laughs> uh, one... you, know, you didn't have to contribute. Come on. I, I see, yeah, it's... Being in the brig is... it's nat- Like, you have to basically spend your time campaigning everybody to get you out of the brig. To trust yeah, you. or saving up cards to go, right? Mm-hmm. There are other cards apparently that exist that can help you get out of the brig, like. like oh really? But I don't know what those. Uh, are. I would assume that those would be Declare like emergency? Uh, diplomacy cards or something like that. Not. Yeah. Actually, Declare emergency lets you um, reduce the difficulty by two. Oh, is that a green card? Yeah. It's a green card. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm not contributing. I don't have these colors. I don't colors. Think I get cards like that because I get like a weird pair a ship and. We- we haven't had any battles. This is the first time I've played this game, and there aren't like a shit ton of enemy ships on yeah, the that, They're coming. Weird. They're coming. Yeah. That's they're just, in that deck. That's what her vision said. Like, that's all my characters good at. <laughs> yeah. Turn are we on right now? To see the deck. Uh, oh, layout. Here we go. We need Five, red six, and purple. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, wait, no. The yellow is a negative. 
So there is a minus six. Minus six, and then there's ten, four, five, six, seven, eight. Minus six, two. So we again had somebody who added. So he failed. At least one person added a a bad card. And what was the population? (laughs) It's minus Um, one population. But hey, the president just thought, you know, minus one is fine. At least we know where she stands. She had, (laughs) she had a, she had a religious vision. God, I wish she'd stop talking about it. (laughs) (laughs) And she's, she's, she's Um, sticking to it. Like that, that ship was a threat and it needed to be shot down. Yeah, fair enough. But it was definitely you because you added a yellow potentially. And, uh, I didn't add a yellow. I didn't contribute anything. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. I'm to so whether... fracking confused. <laughs> <laughs> the I said as much. I wasn't contributing. I don't make those colors. You, if I what contributed, do you mean you don't that make been... those colors? I don't get. I don't get purple or red. Oh, gotcha. Or Rosalind okay. doesn't get purple red. So if I had contributed, I would have been super suspicious. So yeah. I didn't. Get... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to contribute either way. <laughs> right, That's how you know I didn't contribute. Whose turn is it? Uh, boomers. Okay. It is my turn. So do I draw and then I can get rid of cards? You draw, yes. Oh, it says you may not you... move, draw draw crisis cards oh. or add more than one. Right. Okay, so you can still yeah, you draw. you still get your hand. Yeah. And then I have um, to get rid of cards because I have more no. than 10. No, you can hold on to your hand at the end of your turn is when you discard down. So you can oh. contribute to the skill checks. Okay. But you can only contribute one card to skill checks right now, so... Yeah. Um, but I could get myself out of the brig. Mm-hmm. Oh. That would probably be helpful. <laughs> For yeah. you. Like now's the time to <laughs> now's the time to do it. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Um yeah, before all the silent ships come. I'm like really afraid because we haven't had any ships and then now we're, I don't, weird. Uh, so I need seven purple cards to get out, right? Seven. Mm-hmm. I think yep. I can do so, that. All right, we're going to add two to the destiny deck. So three. Mm, that destiny Four, deck. five, six, seven. That's right, that's seven. I can get out now. Hmm? You can only contribute one. Wait, what? While you're you're in the brig, you can only contribute one card to skill checks. Shit, okay. How do you get out? You gotta get people to help you. That's the tough part. Leave that card there. Why are you taking it? (laughs) How do I put my cards there? Oh, you need to put, um, sorry, you need to put start check. You need to click that, and then everybody goes, and then you go last. That's how the... I can't put these back in my deck. Uh, right click draw. Oh no, it's letting me. No, I don't want to draw. I just want. Okay, so just start check is what I have to do. Yeah. 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 Okay. But, but there's destiny cards in there too. Yep. Yeah, because that's part of the skill check or the, the that check. That sucks. <laughs> oh my it god, that's even favorite. worse. It might be in your favorite. It might be yellow purple. Yeah, I guess. All right, so it's me, eh? Oh, I guess I can't. I like might not be able to get out. This might be a waste. All right, I don't. Well, again, what what does Boomer what does Boomer want to say? What is, what is she campaigning? Like, what's her what's her platform here? Yeah, make your case to everyone. I fucking fight for you all. The first thing I did was get out on the field and try to f- kill things. I've done nothing but help aid us in every mission that we've had so far. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and can you explain <laughs> how uh, one of the pilots clearly must have uh, sabotaged one of our missions? How so? We have evidence that a pilot was one of the ones that sabotaged the mission. A destiny card could have been in there. Well, 
All I'm Wait. saying is you're you're. Hmm? Why do you say it has to be one of the pilots? It was red cards, and I think there were. Uh, well, actually, yeah, there were some blue cards in there, right? It was red blue cards that failed a mission. Yeah. So the only people that draw red and blue are Starbuck and Boomer. And we just did a Cylon test on Starbuck, and she's not it. Not it. We know that there. We know that there was a Cylon on board this whole time. So you better make a more compelling argument, or get yourself a lawyer, or shoot yourself <laughs> in the head. Ouch! Wow. Ouch! I've said what I have to say. Can Click. you let me out? Oscor. <laughs> I'm not contributing. Boomer, hashtag Boomer did nothing wrong. Yeah, I contribute if I want to. You're the wrong colors for me. <laughs> I'm like, can anyone else help? Oh, I guess. Yeah, I could normalize, S but I... Starbuck just helped mm -hmm. put two yeah, cards I in. I can help in quite a bit. Starbuck, uh, Starbuck has her fellow pilots back. She just can't so... believe she's a Cylon. I guess we'll find out. The problem is that I can only put in one. Mm -hmm. And if you only put in them, um, then it might not be enough. Here we go. Pending. Definitely got it. You got oh, it. Oh, yeah. You're out. You're out of the brig. Where do you get moved to when you're out of the brig? You can go any location. Well, I'm not going to research anymore. People keep <laughs> giving me shit for having cards. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me laugh okay um now that i'm out does that mean i don't get a crisis thing now that i'm out uh no if you're you're no longer still in the brig in the brig so it's your action was pass a skill check to move to any location you are now you're now in a location okay uh and that ends your turn so go ahead and draw oh. a crisis so okay. I you okay. draw that. I you draw that crisis. Okay, that's yeah. what I was wondering. We're not your turn. Sorry, it ends your action. Move in action. Okay, so now. <laughs> oh my god. This is a Saul quote. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, guess you haven't heard. Cylons don't have rights. Now what do we do, Cylon chief? What? Know what we do chief. to Cylons, chief? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, of, course. of course. Of course. Chief was the one that was <laughs> that was tied to this. That's where all those oh, engineering came from. Oh man, I can choose from. to put someone in the brig if we oh, pass. Oh wow! <laughs> Revenge. Revenge. All right, two cards from the Destiny deck. All right. Go ahead and click what? start check. Our morale's in the red. Oh shit! <laughs> I don't like the way this is going. Colonel Ty's a badass. <laughs> Cylons don't have rights. <laughs> uh, Maggie, can you click start check? Oh, sorry. No worries. Yeah, I can. Cool. All right, me? Um, I will... Uh, I'll help out a de decent amount. One card. We need, to, we need to get to nine. A decent amount in what? In Oz's terms? Well, no, no, no. I'm putting in a decent amount. I'm putting in one. It, did we or did we not pass that skill check? <laughs> yeah. And to be fair, he said... Not from your help, because he I like, put in three cards. That's why we passed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One card. All right. Um, well, I don't want her to have this power, so I'm just letting you all know that I'm going to be contributing negatively to this. Mm. Not because she's a Cylon is what her claim is. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I don't trust her. Yeah. You're willing to sacrifice morale for that, huh? Yes. Even though you only have three morale. 
Yeah, even though you know that if you aren't a Cylon, like, we'll, we'll help I'm you looking. get out of the brig. I can give a speech. That's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh my she God. wouldn't actually say that. Rosalind wouldn't actually say that. She'd be thinking it, though. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, Rosalind can't help herself get out of the brig at all. I'll help a little bit. One card. Okay. What are you in? Are you trying to? Are you trying to imply that you'd put me in the brig if you got this power? This is exactly why I'm failing this on purpose. <laughs> Rosalind v. Boomer. Is that every Fight. everybody? I think so. Yeah. All right, lay it out. Lay it out. Whoa. Damn, you put a lot in. Yeah, deal. Five. Holy cow. How much we got here? We don't have enough. Seven, ten, eleven, minus. It's in the negative. We have not. We need. We got nine, but yeah, now we're in the negative. Well, we lose a morale. Uh, all yeah. right. I'm also gonna use command authority. Uh oh. Ooh, what does that do? Politics here. Once per game, after resolving a skill check, instead of discarding the skill cards, draw them into your hand. Whoa. We need a change what? of power here. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I think this is a role play moment. What did Whoa. what did Adama just do? Clearly, you can't be trusted with that much politics, President. You're not acting in the best interest of this fleet. I get to look at the top of this. So, give me a second. You while stay I look in your quarters. Right, jump preparation track moves forward. What does being the president says do for you? <laughs> um, I have this special deck of quorum cards, and I've been playing special actions. Like, I raised morale, uh, I just gave Starbuck the ability to do the destination deck instead of my instead of um, Adama. I also did... I forget what else. I've done things. You've done things. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's so many cards. I don't know how I feel about the president. I feel like I feel like it's a uh, it's a uh, it's narratively appropriate for me to uh, to pull my uh, my action. Uh, is it? Yes, <laughs> it is. Because Adama. Do the loyalty cards count against your resource? Do loyalty cards no. count against resource? No. Yeah, because you're only supposed to have 10 cards or whatever, 10 resources. Then I'm fine. Yeah, no, resources are these. Then it's not my turn anymore, Sorry. it's the next person's turn. So, um, so yeah, Ty says, Adama, or Admiral, I can't help but, uh, she's, she's getting too out of control and she's just, she's making crazy decisions about leaving people behind and, 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 and making weird, strange calls about the, the safety and and I just I don't know if I trust her anymore I think I think we need to declare martial law oh snap are you asking are you doing it <laughs> no I don't think we've come to that case are you sure <laughs> meanwhile in 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 colonial one Roslyn uh, looks over to Billy and says we're losing the trust of command. This is, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Admiral, you tell me. She doesn't even realize you're there, Starbuck. <laughs> President, I'd like to speak to you. I, I don't think, I don't think Adama's been acting quite himself. Hasn't quite seemed the same since, well, since the event. I have a feeling that um, real Adama might have been killed and replaced by a Cylon. It's just conjecture, but it sounds crazy, but I just can't understand why he's gone out of his way so much to condemn me and uh, get in the way of our efforts. I've strongly suspected him for a long time. I just... I have a hard time believing that. I have a hard time coming to terms with it, but I do think that you are onto something. I'll trust you, Adama. I'll trust you, Admiral, but uh, you tell me, you just say the word, 
and I'll, I'll shake things up and we can get things back on course. Let's just get through these next crises. All right. I'm not declaring martial law and making Adama the president. I'm waiting. <laughs>